Okay, today I'm going to do a video where I'm going to show you the results of my uh, my attempt to get the phosphates out of my tank. Um, I had a real phosphate problem because of uh, we live in central Florida and there's a lot of phosphate in the water and I use uh, tap water uh, for my saltwater aquarium here and uh, just wanted to show you before I uh, added this chemical in, it's called Phosfree. It's a uh, chemical that's used for uh, for swimming pools and I think it contains I want to say it's lanthium chloride I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correct or even using the correct name for that chemical but before the uh, addition of that and I was fairly generous about what I put in and then afterward I used a diatom filter to filter out uh, the precipitate from it um, before it was the uh, on the uh, pH or rather the uh, uh, phosphate chart it was off the charts I mean it was dark blue it was really really bad and now as you can see I'll hold it up next to it um, this is the result of the it doesn't look the color doesn't look right in the video but basically I mean there's there's basically almost no phosphates left it's got to be off the scale uh, low there um, so I think I've been successful in this and so from here on out I'll probably try to use like uh, either RO water or uh, something like that maybe I can get my aquarium to uh, come back to life here I kind of neglected it for a while you can see there's a little bit of uh, some coralline algae uh, in there a tiny bit and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll come back so anyways I just thought I'd share with you guys one approach to uh, to uh, getting that done. Um, you know, you can see it's okay. You know, but any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and feel free to uh, um, hit me up on the uh, question section. Okay, thank you.